I have something in this box that I think could help a lot of you out, especially if you're a guitar player looking for a solution to reamp your guitar signal, or especially, especially if you are a Tonex user looking for a low cost interface to help you capture your pedals and amplifiers more efficiently. What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Taylor and uh, I got this package the other day from IK Multimedia. You probably know that we're opening an audio interface if it wasn't obvious from the intro, but uh, that's what we're doing here. Here is the Axe One or the Axe IO One. I think it's just the Axe One, but uh, either way, here is the audio interface. Let's open the box and see what you get inside of it. There it is. You get the audio interface and then there is a USB-C to USB-A cable that comes with it. They probably figured more people have USB-A uh, ports on their computers. It is a USB-C audio interface. And uh, then you get your registration cards. Okay, cool. Oh, this is a very nice little audio interface. Let's talk a little bit about what makes this interface unique and uh, why I think it's pretty cool. This is an ultra compact audio interface with advanced guitar tone shaping. It is a guitar centric audio interface. So all of the features built into this interface are based around guitar use. It has one input, three outputs. It has high definition 24 bit, 192 kilohertz audio. It has a pure class A mic preamp with phantom power, Z tone, that's trademarked, impedance adapting guitar and bass input. It has an active and passive pickup selection switch, which is something pretty unique you don't see on a lot of audio interfaces. It also has a switch to let you select between the pure audio input and a JFET preamp. We also have input knobs for our control gain, an input knob for the Z tone that is the JFET preamp selection between sharp and bold, a monitor blend knob to switch between our direct signal and what is coming out of our DAW. We also have an amp out with ground loop interrupter, a headphone volume control, and then a large master volume control. It has a wide frequency response, low noise floor for high gain recording, MIDI in and out, which is also very nice, two controller inputs for expression pedals or single double switches, and this is the big one. Includes Amplitude 5 SE, Tonex SE, and Ableton Live Lite. It's cost $129.99 US, so it's kind of crazy how far your money goes with this thing, because not only do you get the audio interface, but you get the software as well. Now this is to be expected for a $129 unit. Uh, the chassis is full plastic. This is you know, pretty lightweight, but um, you know, if this is just like sitting on your desk or if this is something you're going, it does have rubber feet, so it's very sturdy. But if this is something that you wanted to be able to uh, pack up and take with you with your laptop or something like that, it's really awesome for that. Now there's no power adapter here. It is USB-C powered, so that also lends itself to being, you know, a portable, audio interface. So the way that I imagine using this is like maybe you have Tonex loaded up on your laptop or something like that and uh, being able to take this with Tonex to your band practice space and capture your friend's amplifiers, you know, maybe like use your own captured amplifiers in Tonex or some of the IK multimedia ones, you know, if you don't have your own. Now also with the introduction of this more budget friendly audio interface, they also are updating Tonex to allow you to be able to capture with something like this and only having one input. I don't know if that update's gonna be out by the time I release this video or not, but uh, it is something that I know they are working on. So the idea here is that you could probably use like the play button and not have to actually have your guitar plugged in. And then you can use the amp out and go into your amplifier, pedal, guitar rig, whatever you wanna do, and then come back into the one input and you should be able to capture without having to have a second input for your guitar. And one of the other features is this also comes with companion software to allow you to control the interface from your desktop computer. All right, so now that we've gone over all the specs, let's get this guy hooked up to my computer and I can show you the companion software and how that works. Let's go. I have the IK Multimedia Axe One, Axe IO One, the interface that I just talked about. Have that plugged into my computer. Uh, nice thing here, we're only plugged in with one cable, one USB-C cable, it is powered off that USB-C connection to the computer, so that's really nice. I just have my guitar plugged directly in. Nothing too special there. Um, now we do have a combo jack in front. You could use a microphone if you wanted, but you do have one input, three outputs. We'll go over those more here in a second here. Uh, I have my two outputs running to another audio interface, which is capturing the audio that you're hearing right now through the screen capture. We also have the amp out output on the front here, and when you open up the companion app is you have a ground lift switch also that isn't on the actual unit itself. So you do have some additional functionality with the application. You can also mute the amp out switch. Now, one of the things that's really nice about this is let's say that you wanna monitor yourself with an actual rig. Like maybe you wanna capture your direct input of your guitar for recording and reamping later, but uh, you wanna be able to monitor yourself with a real amp. You can actually go into the software here and you can click this two amp out button and your direct input will now be routed to the amp output 
and you can send that to a rig to uh, monitor yourself with. Now, of course, you can always take that off and you can use this amp output to reamp as well. We'll go over that here in a second, but that's a really nice feature for an audio interface in this price range. The fact that you can actually uh, reamp with it, it has a dedicated output for reamping. It's pretty cool. And of course, with the new Tonex update, you can actually capture rigs using that amp output and the one input on here. Uh, you just won't be able to have your guitar plugged in while you do that. But you know, if you wanted a cheap solution to start uh, capturing your amplifiers with Tonex, this could be it. That could be what you're looking for here. Now we do have some additional controls that I'll touch on here real quick. We have an active and passive switch. So if I switch this to passive, just a little bit more output. The active passive switch is sort of like a pad. It just pads that signal ever so slightly just to make up for the output difference in between passive and active pickups. Uh, we also have this pure and JFET mode here. Uh, pure is just going to give you direct signal. If we go JFET, then we're actually activating a preamp inside the audio interface. And then you have this sharp and bold mode here. You can see as I turn it up to bold, the sound does get quieter. So we have to use the gain to compensate. But you can hear that it just adds some like uh, compression and just makes it a little bit like thicker sounding. That could really come in handy uh, with vocals especially, you know, if you wanted to plug a microphone into this and record some vocals. But a uh, nice feature for guitar as well, especially if you wanted to get some like sort of console emulation if you're reamping a guitar. Now another cool thing is you do have MIDI here and if you go into the controller section of the companion app, not only can you assign the quarter inches coming in and tell the interface, you know, this one's an expression pedal and this one is a single switch or a double switch, whatever, you can also assign all of the MIDI commands for those as well as, you know, adjust what channel they're on. So really nice if you wanted to use this again, in conjunction with your laptop and to be able to control that plugin with external controls in MIDI, uh, you can do that with this audio interface. So like you can see with these features, this audio interface is really geared towards guitar players. It's very guitar centric in that way and just trying to cover um, as many bases as it can in sort of like its price range and, you know, get you the features that you need as a, you know, single guitar player. It's just going around with a laptop. Let's go into the interface here and I'm actually going to plug a pedal into the front of this and then we're going to capture it. So I'm gonna use this chug pedal because it is the only preamp pedal that I have right now. And I'm gonna run that into the front and you can see, and we get a lovely preamp sound from that. So uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to open up the Miko 2 plugin and that's going to allow me to have a impulse response, but like you can see, it's still preamp sound. So what we need to do here is we need to go to this direct DAW switch and uh, we can actually switch this all the way over to DAW and it will mute our direct signal that's coming in. So now we only hear the chug pedal running through the Miko 2 plugin. And so you can plug a number of things going into the audio interface. You can also chain stuff uh, if you were using the amp output and uh, going back, in, like if you were just reamping, for example, um, you could come out of the amp output, go into some pedals and back into the input or go through an actual rig with a microphone. We do have phantom power here on this input. So, you know, you could use a condenser microphone that needs phantom power. You have a lot of options at your disposal in this small little interface. It's really nice. And like I mentioned earlier, this audio interface does come bundled with Tonex SE software and Amplitube and all that good stuff. So, you know, if we wanted to capture this pedal, we could. Let's just plug my guitar, uh, the one that was, you know, the input of my guitar. We're gonna plug this into the amp out and we're gonna go into the modeler section on Tonex. We're gonna hit next, uh, select guitar, select stomp. And then we're gonna configure the AX1 and tell it what we have for the input and output. Now on the AX1, output three is the amp output on the front of the unit. So you can see I have that going to a reamplification box. I'm not using the reamp box in this scenario because I'm not really getting any line noise. So I don't think it's necessary. And also uh, I figure there's probably a good amount of you out there that are interested in just purchasing the uh, audio interface. And maybe you don't wanna buy the reamplification box also. So we're just gonna, you know, show you that it works that way as well. So we're skipping the reamplification box going out, going from the amp out into the front of the chug pedal out from the output of the chug pedal into input one on the audio interface. That's how I have the program set up. It knows it's aware. So we're gonna hit next. We can listen if we want to. But of course, it's just the preamp sounds. I say this all the time, it'd be really nice to have a cabinet option in here so that way you can just fine tune it if you needed to. But uh, you're just gonna have to tune it in before you get to this step. 
keep that in mind. We're gonna hit next. We're gonna test it. Now my levels here are correct, but if you needed to, you could use the gain knob on the interface to uh, increase that level or decrease the level. You could also just turn the volume up and down on the pedal or source, whatever you are capturing. You could set your listening level here as well. If you guys haven't seen my videos on capturing with Tonex, I will link that down in the description below. We're gonna go ahead and hit next. And then uh, we're just gonna start the capture process. And I'm going to skip past this because it does take quite a while. Okay, now that we've finished the capture process, we have three options for the training with the Tonex software, if you aren't familiar with this. But uh, the way this works is you have fast, default, and advanced. Now, if you click on advanced, it says right here, uh, best for high gain and fuzz style tones, which would be this pedal. So we're gonna pick advanced and I'm going to skip past this part for you guys because it does take about an hour on my computer. And for those who are curious, I'm using a Mac Studio with an M1 Max chip, if that matters to you. But yeah, it takes about an hour. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and hit next and then, uh, We'll jump back in here in a second. Okay, we are all done with the capture and training process of the chug pedal. I have it loaded up here in Tonex and uh, let's see how it came out. And we can bypass this guy here. Let's bypass the noise gate as well. And uh, we'll turn on the chug pedal. Tonex. Okay, so pretty close, not a bad capture. Uh, you know, this video isn't about getting the best, most accurate results with Tonex. It's just uh, to demonstrate what you can do with this audio interface. And I think it's a really great value. I think you can really do a lot with this, especially for that price tag, man. Now, obviously the sacrifices when you're looking at like an ultra budget interface like that is, uh, you know, the build quality isn't the greatest. This is all made out of plastic. So like if you were traveling with this and you drop this on the sidewalk or something, it might be okay. But I think where this interface really, really shines is in its guitar centric features. And uh, especially if you wanted to use it uh, in conjunction with Tonex, which it's bundled with, you can do that and you can now capture, like I showed with Tonex, using one audio input. You don't have to have an interface with, uh, you know, three out and two in anymore they've changed that with the release of this audio interface. So that's pretty cool. Okay, shout out to IK Multimedia for sponsoring this video. Shout out to you for being here and watching it. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button. If you like what I do here on my channel, consider subscribing. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.